what's more friends folks that's one of them years we got a leap year going on y'all you know cubby was almost a leap year baby <laughs> 2012 almost there it was one of them years where we had 2029 20, or 29 days but she was born february 28 10 pound big old giant clint eastwood baby and yeah it's funny all throughout the years she's been a short one <laughs> she's starting to grow now though all that being said, today's lesson, we're going to go to Sarah Young's lesson. It's February 29th, leap year this year, so we got, you are on the right path. Listen more to me and less to your doubts. I am leading you along the way I designed just for you. Therefore, it is a lonely way, humanly speaking. But I go before you as well as alongside you, so you are never alone. Do not expect anyone to understand fully my ways with you any more than you can comprehend my dealings with others. I am revealing to you the path of life day by day and moment by moment. As I said to my disciple Peter, so, so I repeat to you, follow me. That's the thing with the Bible. The Bible, my old Sunday school teacher, big old Vietnam veteran, he told me that the Bible... He said this a long time ago, and I'm sure y'all have heard it before. It's the basic instructions before leaving Earth. One of the first things I learned when I submitted right over here on my knees in the county jail on my way to prison, January 5th, 2008, one of the first things I read was, only a fool does not follow instructions. And then in that one little sentence, I examined my 22 years of being a drunk. And I thought, I always wanted things done my way. No wonder I'm in trouble. I wonder I'm fixing to go to prison. And I was ready. I was ready to cut. You know, I had long hair then. I was ready to get it cut. Go on, serve my time, come out, and be a dad to my girls. Be a renewed disciple for, for the Lord. Be a dad to my girls. And get my get Annie married up to me as my wife. And instead of going to prison, the Lord he gave me six months in counties. I paid by ten thousand dollars in fines. And I eventually I did he fulfilled the rest. Now here I am on the right path I like it on this side it's so much better I'd rather be sober and clear minded than drunk the best party that I ever thought I had in my life one of them was 17 when my 17th birthday party at Grave of Gornick that was pretty awesome but that doesn't compare to nothing even my worst day with the Lord my worst day was my when my wife crossed the stars December 23rd 2021 but still that I, that day was better than the best party that I had ever done in my life. And that's how awesome the Lord is because I know that He's right here in the tablet of my heart. He's in my mind, my soul, and my strength. I'm a fiery ended individual. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. I'm like Peter. Peter was real fiery if you read about him in the Word. And um, his fire would get quenched by the Lord each and every time. He was humble a lot. Apparently, Peter was also very tall and very fast. I'm not real tall, and I show in real fast. <laughs> but what I am is real strong. But in my weakness, God's at his strongest. In my weakness, is anger. But he's working on me with that. And how is he working with me? Well, we got Psalm 119, 105. By his word, for it is a lamp that guides my feet and the light for my path. And then we have a quote, or we have a scripture in John 21 and 22. As for me, Follow me. That's it. <laughs> that's what Jesus told. That's what he told Peter. As for you, follow me. And remember, Peter was the one who followed him off the boat. And he was walking on water with Jesus. But right when he looked at the waves, he looked at the troubles. It's a reflection of you looking at the troubles in your life. You, your focus is on the Lord. You're fulfilling the word in your heart. You're putting it into action. But then you look at your circumstance too long to the left. You look at your troubles to the right too long, and you're greatly afflicted. And affliction means trouble. It's just the big 50, 50 cent word for trouble. You look at it, you're troubled. And that's when Peter started going into the water, and Jesus grabbed him and he pulled him up. He said, Where is your faith? When he put his faith back in the Lord, the Lord, he walked on water with him. The Lord took him out, though. He, he could, wasn't able to walk on water because he looked at his flesh too long. The spirit is always going to be over the flesh. 
And that is why he gives you the lamp to guide your feet. That lamp is the word. It is a living word of God, and it will change your life. I've read Stephen King books. I've read this book, that book. Uh, I like Vine DeLorean's ended books, even though he ain't here with us no more. Vine DeLorean Jr., Custer Died for Your Sins. One of the funniest, truthful books I've read in my life. But I can't apply what these books teach me, but I apply to the best that I can, the Bible. Basic instructions before leaving earth. It's a lamp that guides your feet. So even in bitter times, you will still have a heart that's sweet, a heart that's tender, a heart that can endure. Because love, this love, what does this say? Love is long-suffering, and love endures everything. Everything. So be blessed. You're on a journey with that.